schedule it's upon us. Hey, hope you're out tonight for the sizzle of some racing state. A good Saturday morning to you and welcome to Kokopa Speedway's Lap Time Live. Brought to you by Kokopa Casino. Racing radio here on Outlaw Country AM 1400. As always, I'm your host, Mike Stanhope. Thank you for joining us this morning as we get set for round number five of the 2014 Kokopa Speedway Racing Series. All five divisions set for action tonight as the IMCA Modifieds, Pro Stocks, Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, IMCA Northern Sport Mods, and the Napa Auto Parts IMCA Hobby Stocks are all primed up and ready to roll. Gates out of the Diamond in the Desert to open up at 5 this afternoon, race time 7 p.m. Also, more big news this week on the showdown, the Winter Heat Sprint Car Showdown that's coming the first two weeks in January 2015 to Cocoa Speedway. For a look-see at that and more, Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Cocoa Speedway, and Randy Haft with N2 Photographics and the Yuma Sun will both be joining us in just a few minutes. First, though, a quick set of the scene, so to speak, for the excitement to come tonight out of the Diamond in the Desert, roughly a third of the way through the season schedule now and season title chases tight indeed. And with that in mind, a quick review of your top five competitors in each division set for action tonight. Starting off in the IMCA Modifieds, where Imperial's Lance Murray comes in with a 13-point lead over Summerton's Ty Rogers. Just six points back of Rogers, it's Yuma's Charles. Hunt driving his number 22 machine with Yuma's Bobby Horton in the number four spot and a two-way tie for fifth, Yuma's Doug Rivera and Phoenix's Ryan Roth. Next up in the Pro Stocks, it is Westmoreland, California's Brent Asher, a two-point advantage over Yuma's Brett Samala, just two points back of Samala. Joe Haynes sits in the third position with Steve Anthony and Hamul, California's Steve Jonas rounding out your top five. Next in the Fisher Automotive Street Stocks, it is Chula Vista's Manny Baldivia's with a four-point advantage over Yuma's Joey Essery, just a point back of Essery. Adolfo Noriega sits in the number three spot with Yuma's Jimmy Davey and Yuma's Captain Henry B. rounding out your top five there. In the IMCA Northern Sport Mods, Yuma's Josh Wood with a single-point advantage over Yuma's Timmy Reese. It is Holtville's Chris Doth in the number three position with Brawley's Cody Daffern and Imperial's Key Smith rounding out your top five there. And finally, in the Napa Auto Parts Hobby Stocks. It is Yuma's Brent Wofford on top of the standings. A three-point advantage over Yuma's Craig Ebers. Brian Johnson sits in the number three position with Leonard Manos in the four spot and Jason Bashirs rounding out your top five. Bashirs planning a return to the track tonight after missing the last several races with engine issues. And a little extra sauce for the goose tonight in the IMCA Hobby Stocks as Yuma's Auto Glass Specialists have put up an extra 100 bucks to go to the Hobby Stock feature event winner. And with that, we get set for the racing to come tonight. Round number five of the 2014 Kokopa Speedway Racing Series. Again, main gates open at five. Race time, 7 p.m. out at the Diamond in the Desert. Well, coming up in just a moment, some conversation about the state of humor racing in general and also about the new sprint car showdown that's the talk of the country. We are set for a visit with Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Kokopa Speedway, and Randy Haft with N2 Photographics and the Yuma Sun. They are set to join us next here on Racing Radio, Kokopa Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by Kokopa Casino. It's Food City's three-day sale. Now through Sunday, take advantage of these savings. Golden ripe bananas, three pounds for just 99 cents. Whole tilapia, $1.29 a pound, sold in the 10-pound box. Food City vegetable oil, 32-ounce bottle, $1.29. Budweiser beer, eight-pack, 16-ounce aluminum cans, $7.99. Thank you for shopping today at Food City. The store with low prices when you need them. Need to order stickers? Sign Pro can produce custom stickers with your logo or business information. Give them to your customers or label your equipment for a great professional look. That's Sign Pro, 783 7776, or stop by 1702 South Arizona Avenue. Sign Pro, where they are perfect to the letter. Yuma's Centennial Celebration continues Saturday, April 26th with a Made in Yuma movie marathon at the historic Yuma Theater. Showtime start at 11 a.m. Admission is free. Find out more online at yuma100.com. At highway speeds, the average text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds. That's enough time to travel the length of a football field. 
Stop texts, stoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Get ready. ready. It's the biggest season yet. Saturday night racing at Kukaba Speedway. Join your friends, bring your family, and thrill the war on wheels in the Kukaba Speedway Racing Series. Enjoy a nice cold beer, great food, the Coca-Cola family seating section, and free parking. Racing begins at 7 p.m. Saturday night. Thunder of race cars at Kukaba Speedway. Visit KukabaSpeedway.com for details and online ticketing. Got a Dream Yuma Charity Fun Run will be Saturday, April 19th. That's Prison Run Weekend. Sign in from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Bobby's Territorial Harley-Davidson. It's just $20 for singles or $30 for couples. Your registration fee includes a t-shirt and meal. All proceeds will benefit children suffering from life-threatening illnesses right here in Yuma County. The day includes non-stop fun like giveaways plus live music by Upper Room from noon to 4. There will also be a stunt show with three performances at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and again at 3 p.m. For more information, please call John at 928-750-6068. That's 750-6068. It's the 2014 Gotta Dream Yuma Charity Fun Run during Prison Run Weekend on Saturday, April the 19th. Gas up your bikes and get ready to ride for Gotta Dream Yuma. A single second of baseball action this season with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Tune in for the crack of the bat. Every home run and every out. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks on Outlaw Country. AM 1400 all season long. Root, root, root for your home team. Just turn on your radio and we'll bring the game to you. Right here on Outlaw Country where we're rattling with excitement all season long. Listening to Racing Radio with Lap Time Live, presented by Coca Bar Casino here on Outlaw Country AM 1400. Once again, I'm your host, Mike Stanfield, for a special race day edition of Lap Time Live as we get set for launch tonight on round number five of the 2014 Coca Bar Speedway Racing Series. And hey, let's say hello now this morning to Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Coca Bar Speedway, and Randy Haft with N2 Photographics and the Yuma Sun. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Hi, guys. <laughs> Good to see you both and uh, feel privileged to be here with a couple of professionals. I'm just here to add more sauce to the goose. That's my job today. Hey, there you go. I like that. Glad to have <laughs> both of your smiling yeah. faces in with us this morning. I want to talk uh, Winter Heat Sprint Car Showdown, first of all, Greg. Uh, the announcement uh, out last weekend, and I know you have been very busy since. It has been pretty busy, and I can't believe I gave you a great line last night, and you didn't even use it. I texted him last night telling him to use the lowdown on the showdown, and he didn't even use lowdown it. Lowdown on the showdown. We're ready for the lowdown on the showdown right now. <laughs> but, yeah, it was kind of a fun week, starting Sunday with the great story that Randy and the Yuma Sun put out there. Uh, started with that, and we followed that up uh, mid morning uh releasing the press release on our website and uh it was a fun sunday to be at work and i don't say that often if uh to watch the social media take over and take the story and then uh less than an hour in to get contacted by the great people at uh national speed sport news and uh want to set up a phone conference for the week and it was good and my phone really did not stop until after about 10 p.m sunday night so it was it was quite a sunday and it was fun and it's still fun it's still going on. Uh, lots of contact this week from uh, people people that I respect in the industry and I think would be respected by everyone. So it's, it's going to be quite an event. <laughs> Randy, I'd imagine you're kind of seeing some of the same thing that Greg is seeing. Actually, no. <laughs> Nobody talks to me. They all talk to Greg. They know where to go. They go right to the top. The, the interesting, interesting thing I want to bring up is that Greg told me that uh, he talked to Tommy Estes, who's been designated the director of the uh, the showdown. And didn't Tommy tell you that his phone has been ringing nonstop since the uh, release came out? 
Yeah, he said, uh, before we released it, uh, about a week or so ago, I just checked back with Tommy on dates once I would confirmed everything on my end, spoke to Jimmy Carr, and then I made one last contact with Tommy, make sure he was good on the dates, and then I said, okay, there'll be information out soon. I didn't tell him when, and he said uh, midday on Sunday that his phone lit up and uh, was was a pretty busy day for him as well. That's a pretty good barometer right there. Yeah, Tommy's very well connected in the sprint car world and uh, is one of the reasons I wanted him involved along with he's absolutely a great guy and very well respected and I look forward to working with him. So I, I do consider that a great barometer as well. One of the things that uh, you've been in discussions with Tommy about is kind of how the race format is going to work going forward when we get around to those competition weekends. Yeah, there was just a couple of things that we wanted to verify in uh, rules being one of them, and we're going to go with what uh, uh, the guys are following rules. Uh, you know, probably 80, 90 percent of the 410 sprint cars in the nation follow the world of outlaw rules, um, and that's what we will do as well right down to uh, tires and then the format uh, we both felt very strongly uh, along with Jimmy Carr that we needed to do something totally different and make it our show so uh, we'll follow a format very close to what the Chili Bowl uses it'll be a two heat race format so all those fans coming to see the the big guys will get to see them not only in two heat races but then uh, uh depending on car count preliminary main and then the uh a feature event so and the two two heat race uh format is just absolutely great it evens things out the guys uh will draw for their first uh starting position and then it's inverted based on passing points for the second heat race so we're gonna not only have some of the uh hopefully majority of the best racers in the entire world here but we're going to have to see we're going to see them get their elbows up and have to drive and get those all important passing points uh, to help them with their starting position for those feature events I'd never seen that format until uh, I was researching the uh, United States uh, Modified Touring Series, and they had their big race, uh, the king of something or other, whatever it was, up in Kansas. And uh, they had 100, 143 modifies, I think, were there. And uh, I'd never seen the double heat race format, and that was very, very intriguing. And I think that's a cool idea. The fan, Like you said, the fans are going to see these guys twice. Uh, in just heat races, does it doesn't in, include a uh, a semi main or the main event? So, and I think you're going to have plenty of cars too, from what I what I can tell. Yeah, it, it'll be really fun. It'll be a unique format for us and uh, something that guys look forward to. And uh, the benefit to the racer is if they struggle in one heat race, they've got a chance to come back and do it again. The, all of their night is not based on that one so important heat race or it's not based on an all-important qualifying lap either. They've got two chances to really get their car styled in and do what they can. It's just, it's a great, great format. Uh, I know you guys haven't been there, but if you speak to anyone that's ever been to the Chili Bowl, what you'll hear over and over is the great, great racing all week. And that is based on that two heat race format and that's why it's so good is it gives those guys a chance to uh to do their best okay i'm gonna put you on the spot you said uh about the chili bowl and they're racing all week what are the chances you're gonna have a wednesday night show I think the chances are good. We've got to sell some tickets, and uh, the way we've approached that at this point is if we can sell out those weekends, then we'll put Wednesday night in there. I do have it listed uh, on the website as TBA at this point, so I'm thinking about it that serious. And I, I wouldn't say we'd have to be 100% sold out, but if we can get four nights you know, with a good, uh, good number of fans there, then I think that 
uh, Wednesday night would be at it. And that's what uh, the racers want and the fans. You know, it would be great for the town um, as that would uh, pretty much eliminate anybody flying out uh, for a day or a couple of days and then coming back for the next weekend. They would be here for the whole week then. So I I hope we can do it. We, we need the fan support on this deal. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to make it a great event so that the fans will be here along, of course, with the racers. We're visiting with Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Cocopah Speedway, and Randy Haft with N2 Photographics, and the Yuma Sun here on Cocopah Speedway's Lap Time Live. We're brought to you by Cocopah Casino, and we'll be back with more in just a moment. Are you concerned about rising health care expenses when you retire? Do you have a plan in place to maximize your Medicare benefits? Yuma Investment Group Wealth Management will host an educational seminar on Medicare planning. We will show you how Medicare enrollment periods work, how it works with private insurance, to maximize your coverage and how to avoid late enrollment penalties. Please join us at the Yuma County Main Library on Tuesday, April 15th at 6 p.m. Call 329-1700 to reserve your spot today. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA SIPC. The City of Yuma's Centennial Celebration continues Saturday, April 26th with a Made in Yuma movie marathon at the historic Yuma Theater. Showtime start at 11 a.m. Admission is free. Find out more online at yuma100.com. At highway speeds, the average text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds. That's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop texts. Stop rex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Need to order stickers? SignPro can produce custom stickers with your logo or business information. Give them to your customers or label your equipment for a great professional look. That's SignPro, 783-7776 or stop by 1702 South Arizona Avenue. SignPro, where they are perfect to the letter. You just can't Hi, I'm Emmett Smith. Sports has given me a lot to smile about over the years. But as an athlete and the father of young athletes, I know how important it is to protect yourself from injury. That's why I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to encourage athletes of all ages to play it safe when it comes to sports. I've seen firsthand how quickly an accident can happen when out on the field, the court, or even the dance floor. And because orthodontists are specialists in helping kids and young adults obtain a healthy, beautiful smile, the last thing they want to see is a patient get injured because they weren't properly equipped. No matter the sport, wearing protective gear like mouth guards, face masks, and helmets can reduce the risk of injury and keep you in the game. Athletic competition brings some of the greatest joys in life. But there's nothing more rewarding than a lifetime of healthy, beautiful smiles. For more information on how you can play it safe, visit braces.org. At 30,000 feet, there's no room for error. To keep a modern fighter jet flying safely year after year requires a highly trained team of expert technicians and specialized equipment. Echo 311, confirming final inspection. Roger that. GMC certified service technicians take service and maintenance just as seriously. And we'll do a full 27-point inspection. Great, thanks. With specialized GMC training and genuine parts for every GMC vehicle, you can be sure your GMC is always ready to take off. Incredible thinking, incredible service. GMC certified service. That's professional grade. For a limited time, get a $100 mail-in rebate debit card on a set of four select brand name tires. See participating dealer for eligible tire brands and details. Rebate form must be postmarked by June 30th, 2014. Allow six to eight weeks for delivery of debit card. Offer ends May 31st, 2014. Welcome back to Race and Radio, Cocopa Speedway's Lap Time Live, presented by Cocopa Casino, here on Outlaw Country, AM 1400. Once again, joined in studio this morning by Randy Hape with N2 Photographics and the Yuma Sun, and Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Cocopa Speedway. And Greg, we were uh, talking a little bit earlier uh, about the contacts that are coming your way from within the racing community in general, but you're, you're also on the receiving end of some other contacts that are equally important to this event in terms of being able to bring it off. 
Yeah, I really uh, have to give accolades to the little town of Summerton Chamber of Commerce. Hector and his crew out there uh, contacted me on Monday, and they wanted to uh, get involved, and they uh, they have offered to, uh, we've still got to pick a night, but during the week sometime between the two events, uh, they want to block off downtown and set up a stage and put on a block party and really uh, do a good job exactly what the whole area should be doing uh, they've offered to do and I'm really proud uh, to have our speedway in in of course Summerton and the Yuma area but really proud of that little town and their chamber of commerce uh, uh, kudos to them for jumping on board and doing what they need to do and uh, I'm glad to be a member of that chamber and we're going to back those guys up in what they need and it's good to see that they're doing what they need to do and coming back helping us. That's a definite cue for the rest of Yuma, Yuma County, and everybody in the, within hearing distance to jump on board with this program because we've talked about this a hundred times with the, uh, the history of the Slick 50 almost coming to Yuma Speedway back in the day that uh, this does, if you, even if you're not a race car fan, this is, this is going to benefit you one way or the other, especially if you are a, a motel owner, hotel owner, gas station owner, whatever, you own a food store, you own the Jack in the Box, whatever it is, you're going to get, you're going to make money off of this. I mean, th- this is a gold mine and I, I really, I'm going to be really disappointed if you don't start getting some phone calls from people in town that want to jump on board and say, hey, I want to sponsor this heat race or whatever the case, whatever they can do. That's uh, I'm going to be very disappointed with that. I know it doesn't make any difference what I feel, but in the, in the big picture, uh, Yuma needs to get on board. This is the biggest event to hit this town in a very, very long time. I, I do not think it is a stretch at all to say we are talking world class here. Yes, definitely. I mean, you got Steve Kenser. He's the king. The king of, of sprint cars is going to be here. You know why he's going to be here? Because he races for Tony Stewart. Well, why is that? Because Tony's going to be here. I mean, you can't get any better than that. If Casey Kane can or cannot drive in this event, he's going to be here with his team cars. Like Kyle Larson's the same way. You didn't get any. And then who, who, who all is coming? The, the rest of them. The Pied Piper. And that's all there is. It, 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 this is, I can't even put this in words how big this event is. It's I, I appreciate your excitement and that, uh, <laughs> no, really, it equals my excitement. And, there, and uh, to have the conference call I did this week with uh, Joe Tripp and Kurt Moon and Ralph Shaheen uh, from National Speed Sport News, uh, what a great thing to even have something coming our way that would make those guys want to call and be involved here. And we're going to get them involved in this going to be a great thing for the whole area and it, it really can i know you brought up slick 50 and i heard that went a different direction years ago because uh, uh someone's wife wanted to do some shopping <laughs> and we didn't have a big enough mall well i don't have a wife and we've got a mall now so and it, and this this series is coming here so come on everybody let's get behind it and make this what it can be and this thing can grow for years and be a signature event here. It would, be, it would also be remiss if we did not say something about the Cocopa Tribe. It took some big pardon expressions, some big cojones to jump on board with this and back this program. They, these people, uh, I don't know, they've got the vision. That's all I can tell you. It, it, to, to go along with this, that says that just speaks volumes about what, where they're willing to go with this facility, which we know is the best outdoor sporting venue anywhere within a 300 mile radius of this place. We can talk, too, in terms of the commentary, not just from ourselves, but from, well, from Jimmy Carr last week, his comments on the facility. He said coming in here was a no-brainer. Pretty much summed it up right there. Best, what do you say, best racetrack in the West? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that was his words. And and we've got it here, and uh, I appreciate you bringing up the Kokopa Indian tribe. I'm very proud to work for them and proud uh, of what they see uh, and what they're allowing us to do here. This is a huge deal, and to have their support behind it is uh, absolutely great. And uh, we just got to all come together and make it good so we can keep going now. This... uh, We've got 
what we need. Let's let's get together and make it happen. What I want to see is when you drive into Yuma, all these places that have marquees on them, like uh, Happy Birthday So and So, and we got a, a Bud Light uh, six pack or twelve pack on sale. Blah 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 blah. They got to say Welcome Racers. I mean, we got to get back to the day when we had the uh, the Padres were in town, the Colt Swallows in town. City's got to get on board. We got to have some banners across Fourth Avenue, Sixteenth Street that say Welcome Welcome Racers to the Winter Heat Sprint Car Showdown. I mean, we we cannot. Under we cannot over under what am I going to say here? We can't overplay this thing at all. Lots, uh, lots to happen over the course of the next several months, Greg. Yeah, yeah, there's lots to happen, and I'm uh, a bit re-energized, of course, with this. My hours were extended this week again, and uh, I plan on uh, putting in whatever time it takes from me to make this a success. I've uh, spoke to my staff, and we'll be speaking to more of them today, and they're all behind this, want to see it happen, and uh, we can we can do this and it can be really really good for the whole area and racing in general the 410 racers or racers that i've been contacted from all the way from canada to pennsylvania to all over california a lot of 410 racers in california and uh, i know we've just touched the surface so far but it it really can be good, and we'll hopefully have some announcements about television in coming weeks here. In fact, I know we will, and uh, we're just going to keep working this thing through. Cool. Want to shift gears here for a moment? We've got action tonight out at Coca Paw Speedway, oh, yeah. round number five of the 2014 Coca Paw Speedway Racing Series. Randy, you uh, wrote about this just the other day, <laughs> but uh, hey, it's tight across the board. I, I got. Uh, we were talking about the the Sprint Car Series, and I made the comment that you know our our local series is just just as exciting. I know it's not sprint cars; we're not doing over 100 miles an hour, whatever the case may be. But these guys, I mean, if you want to see some good driving. You got to be at the speedway. I mean, these cats are putting on a heck of a show. Uh, a couple guys I, want, I, I wanted to point out was um, uh, Chuck Hunt in the Modifieds. Where did this guy come from? He's been racing what a year, just over a year, and he's up in the. He's second, I don't know, third. Third in the points? Yeah, setting third in the yeah. points, correct. That's, that's a heck of a job for this guy. And then Ty Rogers, I mean, uh, well, of course, he won. He's just dominated the, mod, the sport mod division last year. But he's up there uh, nipping on Lance's heels. I mean, uh, this, this guy's for real. There's no doubt about that. Street stock-wise, i got to talk about Joey Esri. I mean, he's coming. He's coming hard, and uh, I'm glad to see that. I, I, I wrote in the program, and it, I'm probably giving away what's in the program tonight, but anyway, that uh, he wasn't heard from a whole lot last year. He won the, the season opening main event, and then he's kind of dropped off the radar a little bit. I hope he doesn't take that offensively, but that's what I saw. And now he's back, and he's running third, second, third in there somewhere. He's in the top five. I know that, top four. He has not finished worse than fourth in a feature this year. That's a mighty impressive string. That's of cool. It, it is, and all the guys are doing a great job, and it is fun to talk about the big shows, but uh, again, speaking to the fans locally here, if you've not been out to Coke Boss Speedway or never been to a dirt track race, please just give us a chance. Come out there, bring your family, bring some friends. Don't feel intimidated about anything. Come out, enjoy some fresh air, some great <laughs> food, and uh, the excitement of the races. It, it really is a great facility uh it's clean uh the show runs smoothly if i do say so myself and uh the racers are doing a great job at put, putting on a show for you so try something new come on out there with us and enjoy the show not reflected in the uh, standings currently, Randy, although it could be here in the next few weeks. Uh, that is Leonard Manos in the uh, IMCA <laughs> Hobby Stocks who was on a charge as of late. He, ma he made a comment uh, after the last race that he always says, I'm, I'm so disappointed that I'm so far back that I missed that first race of the season. I really wanted to win this championship. I got to tell you, if he keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to be there at the end. Uh, nothing that, I don't mean anything against uh, um, uh, Craig or, or, or uh, um, Brent, but uh, he's going to be there. He, he's, he is the guy. Uh, the only thing that's working against him is that there aren't enough cars in the division. He doesn't, he doesn't make up enough ground each night because there's only four, five, six cars racing. But... Uh, <laughs> whatever he did, whatever uh, 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 Brock Beater taught him, he, he's, 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 he listened well, and he's putting it to, putting it to work. I got to tell you, he is quick. 
Always, always good lessons to be learned. We noted uh, earlier in the show, uh, Bashir's probably back mm -hmm. in action tonight in fun. the hobby stocks, and at least two other cars that I'm aware of are getting really, really close in that division as well. Yeah, I won't be surprised to see uh, Amy T back tonight, and then I also heard that uh, Matt Sherrard was going to be there tonight. I was going to bring so, that up. I hope Matt comes back. It's fun watching Matt drive. Yeah, so uh, I think that that division is doing exactly as I predicted it would do, and expected it to do and uh, I still will hold with my bet that uh, the car count in the in the near future might be a year or so but I think the car count in that division will outnumber the stock cars really just all a part wow. of building the bigger diamond. Uh oh, it's recorded now, isn't it? Yeah, you're on record now. Oh <laughs> uh, no, but everybody's doing a great job, and uh, it's great, great racing and a great escape for the family. So I hope we get some people uh, come out there and join us. If nothing else, if you come out and watch just the fact the uh, the hobby stock main, and you watch Manos and uh, and Craig get after it, that's that's almost worth the price of a ticket right there. I mean, they are they 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 put on a heck of a show, and Craig is Craig is driving his butt off trying to hold off Manos. Awesome stuff, and as always, the prediction for tonight is excitement. Craig, want to thank you, Randy. Want to thank you for stopping in this morning with us here on Lap Time Live. Thank you, you, Mike. Mike. <laughs> All right, Greg Burgess, Director of Operations at Kokopo Speedway, Randy Hafe with N2 Photographics and the Yuma Sun. As we've noted this morning, developments are plenty over the course of the next several months as preparation swings into high gear for the inaugural Winter Heat Sprint Car Showdown at Kokopo Speedway. Tune in each week for updates. And, of course, the stars are going to be out again tonight, the stars of the Kokopo Speedway Racing Series as they see action tonight at the Diamond in the Desert, round number five of the 2014. Kokopa Speedway Racing Series, Modifieds, Pro Stock, Street Stocks, IMCA Northern Sport Mods, and IMCA Hobby Stocks all seeing action tonight. Planning your day out at Kokopa Speedway? Well, hey, make sure you visit kokopaspeedway.com for all the info you'll need on the 2014 racing season. Tonight's event and more, again, all available on the web at kokopaspeedway.com where you'll also find the option for online ticketing. And hey, make sure to like us on Facebook. Advanced tickets also available at the Kokopo Casino gift shop and at Napa Auto Parts stores throughout the Yuma area. Round number five, the 2014 Kokopo Speedway Racing Series. Set for action tonight at Kokopo Speedway. Gates open at five. Are racing underway at 7 p.m. We will look to see you there. You've been listening to Lap Time Live, presented by Kokopo Casino. We'll be back with more next Saturday morning at 11 a.m. here on Outlaw Country. AM 1400.